you know, the people we call men nowadays are always causing shit. Gangs, drinking, abuse, and school shooters. Back in the old days, men were enrolled in the army. They served their country. We're a generation of men without purpose. My father died in a war, and now I've got his picture up on my wall. You think any of these guys around me will die with their picture up on a little kid's wall? <laughs> nah. Everywhere I go, on the streets, in the city, I think about that. To be a man without purpose isn't really being a man at all. It was 2019, and my older brother Doug was about to leave the country for good. So he picked up a bottle of wine, and we met at a parking garage, and rode our bikes to the top of the mountain. I have a poor, and stranger, a traveled in until we got to a nice viewpoint where we could sit and drink together. In that moment, I remember thinking of Dog more as a man and no longer a boy. Unlike me, Dog knew our dad pretty well before he was killed in the war. Dog always told me how much of a real man he was. After dog left, I was always lonely. Loneliness is a terrible thing. The more lonely you feel, the less you fit in with everybody else. You start to want things to go your own way and the more you separate yourself, the more lonely you feel and the whole thing just keeps going round and round as long as you can take it until you eventually can't anymore. Tell you what freedom is to me, no fear. I mean, really, no fear. If I if I could have that half of my life, no fear. Well, he never got too lonely, and he never got too sad, but he never got too happy, and that's what's just too bad. He never reached much further than his lonely arms would go. He wore a seatbelt around his heart, and they called him Safety Joe. Safety Joe. Safety Joe, Safety Joe, Safety Joe. What do you say? What do you know? If you don't loosen up the buckle on your heart and start to chuckle, you're gonna die of boredom, Safety Joe.
At some point, all the loneliness and confusion built up, and I got it into my head that I needed to prove myself. I'd always been afraid of the people I saw living on the streets, but a real man wouldn't be afraid. A real man would stand up for himself and do whatever it takes. <laughs>